So you made yourself this really cool environment in TerraGen and you're really happy with the terrain and the water and everything looks great, but it's a little boring. So in this video we'll be making it a little more interesting with some trees and placing them exactly where we want them. Okay, so you're watching 3D Japan? Let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the TerraGen interface, and our scene looks great, but kind of barren, so let's add some trees. So, come over to the Objects tab here, and I'm going to add Objects, and Population, and then the TGO Reader. And here I have some uh, tree objects that came from XFrog. These are uh, free on the TerraGen website. So I'm just going to pick the first one. These are all palmettos. It's basically palm trees. Let's click that. And so we get our object loaded and uh, separate objects for the uh, population. So we've got our object selected here. And it's enabled. And let's just hit populate now and see what happens. Uh, yeah, so pretty much nothing has happened and the reason for that is that our trees are all over here at zero so let's go back to our camera setting here go back to current camera and I want our trees to be over here so I'm gonna right click on some place in the terrain around the middle and copy coordinates then I'll come over here to Area Center and click on the button here and Paste Coordinates. And now our trees are over here. So I want to make them spread out more and cover a larger area. So let's look at Area Length. Just make it all the way up. So now it covers a very large area. And let's try populating now. that looks good. Let's uh, see if I can change these to show textured. There we go. So that looks good, but they're quite tiny. Let's uh, increase their scale on the scale tab. Say four times that size. And we'll hit populate now. and now they're massive. <laughs> so let's come back to the distribution and let's here's the object spacing. Let's uh, increase this to say 40 and populate now and that's a lot better. Maybe we can even go to 50 or say 45. 45, 45, populate now Okay, it didn't really change much. But so now we have another problem is that they're just all over the place, including in the water. So let's paint the areas where we want our trees to be. So for the moment, let's disable them. And just let this continue uh, processing until it's finished. There we go, finished. And now we can hit the pause button so that it'll stay like this while we're working. So we'll come up here, we have this uh, painted shaders icon. Click that and start painted shader and create and paint new shader. There we go, this whole interface goes dark. And we've got a new options box here with our paintbrush settings. And you can see our paintbrush is quite large and it changes size depending on the distance. You can change that. Here we have Use View Relative Brush. And so here it'll stay the same size no matter where you are. I think I like this Absolute Brush better. So let's change our brush scale down a little bit. We don't want it to be that huge. 
Okay. And then we can change the flow a little bit. Increase that. And so now we'll start painting. You'll notice the first stroke doesn't really seem to do anything. But the second stroke will start working quite well. And we can just paint over all of the areas where we want our trees to be. Put them up on top of the hill. Uh, but I don't want them to be down on the beach. Okay, and then I'll paint some over here too. Okay, and then back here. Let's uh, make our brush size a little bit bigger. There we go. And just paint them all over. Not going on the beach. So we had trees all over our beach. Where's our uh, sunbathers going to get their sun from? Now, our trees don't go back as far as these hills, so we don't have to paint those. So, let's just paint a little bit more here. Okay, and so now we can come back up here, and if you make a mistake, say if I painted up here, or if I painted over here and I said, oh, I don't want to paint there, we can choose eraser mode, and just erase everything, make our brush a little bit bigger, and just erase it all. Okay, so we're done painting, so we'll come up to paint, and stop painting and then we can close this and it looks like nothing has happened let's unpause it'll process again still look like nothing's happened so let's enable our trees again and again they're all over the place so let's come down here to use density shader and I'm gonna click the button here and assign shader and let's see we've got painted shader one I forgot to name it <laughs> there we go and now we'll hit populate now and bam now we have our trees just in the area where we painted so let's go back to renders And let's do a quick render. See, I have this set up really high. Let's make this a little bit smaller. 1080 or 1280 by 720. And render image. And as usual, we see our dots from the ray tracing and our weird colored blocks and I'll just pause the recording until it's finished Okay, here's our gorgeous scene with our lovely trees right where we wanted them. And it took about just over six minutes to render. And it looks really nice. Now, of course, you don't have to just use trees. You could use all kinds of various plants and rocks and just really fill out the environment and make it look more realistic. Of course, with the scale options, you could also uh, vary the scale of them make some a little bit taller, some a little lighter, and add a little variation to make it look a little more realistic. But that's it, and that's a quick look at setting up our trees right where we want them. If you liked this video, please, of course, hit that like button. Subscribe, please. There's about 93% of my viewers are not subscribed, so I could really use those subs. All right, thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.